Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And as we've discussed in my previous videos, the quiet period of the 600 megahertz auction is now over. So we should soon know which slice each carrier got across the nation. And uh, shout out for uh, shout out to Joe for sending me this. I've reviewed the article, so it looks like T-Mobile's already on the ball. They're getting it rolling with the uh, equipment on the base stations. So it looks like on towers where they have the 700 panel, they can co-locate the 600 with the 700. And in areas like Montana, where they initially plan to roll this out to gain native coverage in Montana, they have to install new panels, of course. And that will add additional coverage to Montana and the South Dakotas, where I showed you guys that they have now have roaming agreements up in those areas. Well, more widespread. They've always had some type of roaming, but now it's more widespread across the states. Well, with this, T-Mobile can now install it at the base station already, get the tower ready, install the panels, and then light it up. So this is really good to see. Now, I don't want to say that T-Mobile is a step ahead because I'm sure Verizon and AT&T are already prepping for this. They're just being, once again, they're being very quiet about it. T-Mobile is more vocal. So these documents were already leaked and they're already out. So this is really good to see that T-Mobile, you know, is getting the ball rolling on this. You know, I don't want to necessarily say this is going to put Sprint another step behind, but you know, Sprint is just, just getting further and further behind. So I just hope eventually Sprint can, you know, get the ball rolling as well with their 800 megahertz and just, you know, just keep pushing every quarter to get better and better. So I just wanted to report this to you guys. So there is no slowdown at T-Mobile. If you have T-Mobile, the equipment's ready. It, it's being installed at the uh, base station of the towers. And then, uh, of course, we have another waiting period for the TV stations to clear the spectrum. But that shouldn't take too long. So this is definitely really good to see. So next topic that I have, you know, Marcelo has been tweeting that, you know, the Galaxy S8 is the next device that will support HPUE for better coverage. You know, so as you can see, up to 30 percent more coverage, which should equal, you know, they say 99 percent of band 25 coverage. Now, my question is, which I'm going to have to do some research on, is can markets support this technology that have mainly clear wire equipment? So it was said that Nokia equipment <clears throat> can handle this technology and it would cost Sprint almost nothing, you know, towards network capex to install this on the network. Now, a lot of issues that Sprint is running into that a lot of their markets ha still have clear wire equipment and got to remember they did roll out WiMAX in quite a bit of markets so that that equipment is still out and it's been converted over to band 41. So my question is can Sprint <clears throat> support that HPUE technology on the clear wire equipment? They have issues right now getting the three channel carrier aggregation because it can't be done on the clear wire equipments in, in a lot of markets so those that equipment has to be ripped out and then the Nokia equipment has to be, I don't want to say, I don't want to say ripped out, but the Nokia equipment has to be installed for them to get three channel carrier aggregation going in a lot more markets and also possibly pro probably this new technology as well. So I'm going to do some research on that for you guys to see because there is still a lot of clear wire equipment out. I know Houston has a ton of it. I know Miami has a ton of clear wire equipment. You know, and I mean, those have band 41 on them, the, the two channel carry aggregation. But I want to assume to get all this newer technology, you have to have the Nokia equipment or, you know, whatever newer equipment is specific for your market. It might be Samsung. So definitely very interesting to see if you guys know, leave, leave a comment section. I mean, leave a comment in the comment section if the clear wire equipment can support this. Now I know there's still lots of markets that have clear wire equipment. Like in Houston, if I reviewed it, they have a couple of towers that have the Nokia equipment on it, but across the entire market is mostly clear wire. So same for Miami, you know, it's very spotty that you find a three channel carry aggregation. So this is really good to, this will be really good info for the channel to let everyone know that they don't, you know, if, if their market is mostly clear wire and they purchase this device to get HPUE and they can't get it, then, 
you know, they should wait to, to upgrade. So definitely. And I think going forward, the rest of the flagship devices that launched this year will all have HPUE, the, the iPhones, maybe the LG V30, the, the Note 8. So will be very interesting to see. And I'm going to do some research on that today. So definitely appreciate the support. Give these videos a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated, keeps me going. Like, share, subscribe. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.